I'm Daz, Nate's behind the camera, and we went out shopping for some new guns, so if you want to see what we got, stay tuned. <laughs> The other day we went shopping, as he said in the intro. Yeah. Um, we've had money in our pockets. Not really got bust now to spend it, but we were interested. We had money, so we went to flash some cash in the gun shop, and we went. How many did we go to? Two, uh, just two. two. Didn't we? Yeah, we yeah. covered some miles. So. Yeah, yeah. One in Brundle and one in Yarmouth. Yeah, so um, they all had some good stuff, wouldn't you say, Dennis? Yeah, like nice, good range. Uh, Brundle's more. Firearms orientated with uh, a bigger second hand range, I'd say. Yeah, it's some nice second hand stuff um, there. Yeah, yeah, but very well knowledgeable and uh, good salesman. And I, I got some pallets anyway, I didn't really want to leave there without getting anything. He let us handle any gun we wanted. Yeah, um, very give friendly it, guy. Give yeah. it a quick, like a good look over and everything. And He was knowledgeable as well. Yeah, he? yeah, so great shop. One of our favourite ones to go and and visit and Definitely. then a good range of new stuff too that's yeah not, you know oh yeah they had the new tactical air arms and day states and stuff like that in there they, they had good range but no he, he tempted us in there with all them bb guns d yeah which were at least they had like ones people had got and been opened once and then that was it so yeah, they technically weren't new but they were not some of them were 30, used, 40 quid cheaper than the new price yeah uh, i was tempted by the luger um I was tempted by the what was it the M and P nine R or something. Right, that's really nice. There was several there I loved, but yeah. with my PCP rifle breaking, and I might do a video on that. If yeah, I get and mine's just running. gone as well. And loving your gun. Um, well, don't you know. don't spoil it. No, right, okay. Right. So what happened was, Daz, what did you end up buying on that day? I and went and, it to you? and got a Crossman ten seventy seven. That's that sounds familiar. Way. That does because that Damn, was. Damn, I got one of them. That was a gun that I helped you purchase back in the day. Yeah. And cool. I was gutted that they all went before I got one. Um, so I found this in Pownells in Yarmouth. Uh, that was in the used or second hand, but they had a used one. And then I think this one was X display because there weren't a mark on it, and that was pretty much brand new. That was just missing the extra mags. And the documents and stuff, and the the free safety glasses. Um, but yeah, so I bought some mags with it as well, and uh, I got this for a hundred pounds. Bargain. It's a bargain. The, if you get it brand new, it's around about one forty ish. Yeah. Yeah. At this date, but um, yeah, I, I tried yours. I loved it, and uh, I had to I get one. That's one of my most funnest guns. And anyone can shoot it. Yeah. A small, a slow, easy to stash away. Nice semi automatic as well. You get it out, you stick a gas tank in it, and you've got no choice but to shoot it all because, yeah. you know, you just pull the trigger. Great backyard plinking rifle. Yeah, accurate, that's how. Yeah. And like, a good one if you're getting people started as well. And I think, Baz, I paid 60 for mine all the yeah. years ago. I've had it a few years now. Yeah. And um, I had a problem with it. Um, Brilliant. Just take one gas tank, so it's cheap to run. Yeah. So what they all get out, or just give you a quick show. And yeah. Let's see what sort of quality you got. I, to be honest, I don't think it's been used much. To be honest, I'd say hardly any ever. I'd probably say they shot it a few times in the shop, like out back or something to sell a few. But there's not a mark on this. The other one, like the gnarled surface on here it scratched all the blue and off the off the barrel um that had scratches on the top hair where it clearly been dropped at some point that's hardly been used um it? this one is pristine this is literally brand new but i gather they lost the bits you know, out of the box when because that shop has moved around a lot since i'd last been in there now I think um, as when we tested that, because we done a video of mine, I think, power-wise, that was about five and a half foot pound. Yeah, the first shot, and then I went a bit crazy and emptied yeah. the, the mag, and it dropped down to three, three foot pound. Yeah, like, but much still away. more powerful than most pistols. Yeah, um, yeah. but yeah, if you take a shot, 
wait a second and then take another shot, you'd probably stay up to the four or five pound mark through a, well, a whole magazine if you shot it properly. But um, yeah, this I haven't really found a, a mark on it. But, uh, I love the so load loading system on that does yeah. that magazine where you pop it out. Oh, it's just so cool. I don't know. It's, um, and there's another thing. <laughs> I jammed. Mine got jammed because I was pulling the trigger a bit too fast. And uh, you told me that's what these little two little yeah, flaps are. Yeah, a little slidey bit. That slidey bit at the barrel forward, yeah. so any jammed pallets can so come out. Can, um, but yeah, this I'd say for for your money. Value for money is perfect. No need to do the old army smacking into the mag days. Mate, I had to. That know. reminds me of the, the old, what was it, the A14 or something? That reminds me of that, Eric, that American military gun. Yeah, the, the, A4, the, the, the Mini 14, what they call it, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. That, that has got that feel to it, the little, yeah. short little mag mm. and that and the, the, that type of uh, breech yeah. block they had on it as well. Um, but yeah, I love it. Great gun. Absolutely love it. Also got a bit of the 1022 Ruger as well. Um, that but gun is not on exactly the same. I've seen it. That looked nice, that Ruger. Yeah. Um, but there's not much between them. I don't think either in price or quality. I don't no. Think. No. Oh, Best hundred quid I've spent for a long time. Uh, a lot of plastic on it, or ballistic polymer, as they call it. But yeah. um, the boot is that's light. I mean, you can yeah. say it's handles hard. quite like your grip's quite thin as well. So yeah. like for beginner shooters like early teens or whenever you want to get your family into shooting and stuff perfect you can, you first can rifle get, you can get like mine had Daz I was lucky mine came with it came with a press steel a slide over silencer adapter yeah like I say we've done a video on that you see that check our channel if you want to well, see that maybe we might have to 3D print a slidey yeah, one on mate, there and yeah. grub screw yeah see what what happens yeah. but yeah good idea my plans for this as it is I might might get a a site for it, but I'm I'm just happy to have this to plink in my back garden with. Eleven millimeter dovetail, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, eleven mil dovetail. Um, don't buy eleven mil weaver sites because they won't fit. Um, but yeah, don't be an idiot. There's yeah. another video we will be doing later days about the um, weaver fit you said about the little yeah. dovetail because I had a problem. I'm, there's another video. I'm not going to do it in this one, but um, we I've got a section all about that. Yeah. Um, so I think we should switch positions and exactly, you show exactly what I was going to say, Dad. What uh, so, um, you got? Yeah. So um, we ended up in Pownells at Yarmouth. Um, great shop, loads of stuff and food clearance items. And in the Brundle shop, Daz spotted a PP700W, um, the guy I had, that was a black handled one, and that was a 177. And I really wanted the 2 2, um, and I think he wanted a 17999 for it, didn't he? And yeah. I'll pay 180. Yeah, pay 180. And I said, oh, no, I'm going to hang on. Um, so we got in panels, and in the case, sitting there, green handled PP700W, 200 quid. So, uh, for yeah, two two, that looked nice. Daz had bought the um, Crossman, so I thought, right. I said, yeah, mate, do you price match? And he said, well, yeah, we know what you got in mind. So I said, well, you got this PP at the back. I can get it for one eighty online. Do that price, I'll buy it now. And um, he had a little look up and hum and a ha, and he said, yeah, all right, we'll do that. And uh, so <laughs> there she is. PP 700W seen on our channel many times with custom mods, um, shrouds and stuff. And I bought it because I loved everything I'd done for Dazzers and this other guy who actually bought one, uh, one of the shrouds I printed. Um, a really customizable gun, especially in our hands. So um, can't wait to get to work with it. Uh, really pleased with it. Look, Daz, I've got a park out. Yeah, yeah, whatever you do. <laughs> you, you used to have one, then, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally anyway, got a bit um, um, fist, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, so um, anyway, so that, that's another video we've already done. So, yeah, I got this, you know, what the chances of us two going out and buying each other's guns. guns yeah. That's crazy. But then again, that uh, is that we've used each other's guns. Yeah. So that's a huge thing. Yeah, you get to try them out, basically. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, really pleased with it. Um, Got it sort of in their price, 
and I've got plans so I've got to get a red dot site for it and again that's another video I'll show you all the customizations I do if we can 3D print that and yeah. slide it on and so on so for yours dad that'd be cool as hell yeah. I'll like get to work on that yeah because all that take this small grub screw and that'll yeah 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 so uh, or even if I push on fit mate yeah you do it long enough and get it to grip um, I've got loads of different 2 2 pellets all different weights I've got some really heavy ones as well which we tested in some of the yeah. crony tests on rifles all I'm up for doing these like weight of pellet power difference how many shots just really put it through its paces yeah. and so you know a bit like I done with a um, PPW kept shooting it until I was empty the PPQ PPQ yeah. yeah that was a long boring video probably to watch oh, wow. but I wanted to do it yeah, some I people love it. those informational videos yeah man. and that was good and that was a pretty genuine test of how much you get out of it but because um, oh yeah and I wondered about I borrowed my son's um, pump up hand pump for this um, that's obviously just as hard pressure to put mm. on as if you're doing a rifle. Put your hand off, can't do it for nearly, yeah, as long. <laughs> nearly as long as the tank is small. So that was alright, that was that was okay to pump up with a hand strip. If not, get yourself a bottle like Daz has got. Yeah. Um whoa, one like this. Fill them up in a second. Um so yeah. Thanks for watching. Um we'll, we'll keep showing all the updates with the honor stuff. Hope you hope you like it. Uh thanks for watching. See you next time. Yes. <laughs>